Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in Park County, Colorado, asking $299 a month. This one is owned by Erica Benson. It's uh, one acre and it's, let's jump into it. It's on RuralVacantLand.com and I'll start showing you some pictures and directions and more about this property. So Erica's got a, uh, a map up here and she's got driving directions from the property to Denver and it's, uh, it's a little over two hours to get to Denver from this property. Um, here's a shot from the area. Here's uh, some street view from the area. Some more street view from the area. So it looks like popple trees and pine trees scattered throughout the area. And then some valleys that are more bare, but you know some, some grassland and tree land. So here's some more angles, some rocks and some trees and some road. And this is, this is around the area. Here's a lot line of the area. There's a house next door. There's a house kind of behind it on the other side. The property's here. I believe there's a power line that goes along this road. So it looks like you can drive up to it. It looks like it's got some rock in the property. So you probably get some, uh, um, some character to build around, right? So let's take a look at this. Um, so again, we're on ruralvacantland.com. And let me just point out again, this the owner is Erica Benson. She owns this property. And so you'll be, if you're buying it, you're buying it from her and dealing with her, talking to her, Erica Benson, her phone number, contact information is right up above there. She's asking $330 down and it's in Park County, Colorado, one acre. Um, so I got the map. I just updated the maps here on this property. I was just looking at it. And um, yeah, so you can see there's a driveway on both sides of the property. This driveway on this this side here goes to the house up there, and um, the one on the other side goes to the house on the other side. So there's there's houses on either side of this. You can see that there's a power line that runs. You know, there's a pole right out in front of the property. There's a little stream across the street that would be on somebody else's property, but there's still a stream there. So it makes me think that it's probably easier to drill into a water table there if the stream. And there's a pond down here. So it's holding water. It's not like it's all just disappearing. And that's like letting the trees and wildlife grow. And you can see there's a, a rock in here. Um, it looks like there's some land here without rock and, or you could build on top of the rock. And uh, I mean, you just said, go take a look at it and see how it lays out the actual pr property. Looking at the curvature of this line, I'm wondering if it's actually supposed to be following the road down here more like the whole map and the satellite picture of the map just offset a little bit. So you might, have, might, uh, might want to get better ideas of where, where those lot lines are. It might be more over here. You got street view, I think in the area. Yeah, it comes up close over here. It doesn't get all the way to the property, but you can see here's some of these rocks sticking in, you know, different rocks in the area. This is classic poplar country, poplar and pine trees, um, or aspen, I should say aspen. I'm from Michigan, we call them poplar, but in, Colorado, you call them aspen trees, right? So they're aspen trees, the yellow going on in the fall. And uh, this just looks like uh, troll country, like Norwegian fairy tale stories, you know, these kinds of rocks, like the kind of rocks that trolls like to chew on. If you like to read kids' stories, I've been reading stories to my kids, so maybe I'm just off in different topics right now. But yeah, so um, nice, big, long, Tall pine trees, straight tall pine trees look like they'd be great for making a log cabin out of. I don't know if you go chop them down everywhere, but uh, I'm sure you could source some somewhere from the area and talk to the forestry guys. And uh, I think there was, so that was over here, street view. I think we can do street view over here too. Yeah. So I don't know why, but the street view comes in one side and then drops out. It comes on the other side and drops out. So let's uh, let's load it up over here. So here's the valley. You can see there's the uh, there's the power poles. Here's the trees off in the distance. So if we kept going around the corner down in there in the woods and stuff, that's like where the property would be, right? Or I might have that mixed up. It might be right in front of us. Let's pull this up again. Um, street views. Okay, right here. Yeah, it'd be right in front of us. So the forest would be across the street. So if we look across the street, there's like a little stream, pond, creek down here, and then the forest. And then on this side of the street, just up here on this hill, is where the property would be. And it looks like this neighbor over here has got a shed and a, a pop-up camper. Maybe they come in for the weekends or something. They This is probably you know, their driveway, driving up in there and just having fun with it. If we get zoomed out, you can see a couple different homesteads. And these roads have power lines, so it makes it a lot easier to do homesteads in the area. You know, there's numerous ones going off this direction. To the, to the west and to the north, there's different people spurring off. To the south, there's people spurring off. 
There's multiple homes scattered through these hills. So you wouldn't be the only one, but it's still pretty darn private and remote. And then just north of here, you've got a lake. I think this is called 11 Mile Lake. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, 11 Mile Canyon Reservoir, 11 Mile State Park. And we're right next to a whole bunch of park. There's parkland all over the place. Lots and lots of park. In Park County, you got a park all over the place in Park County, right? And then Colorado Springs is just over the hill, so we're not very far from Colorado Springs. It's like an hour to Colorado Springs, and it's like two hours to Denver, roughly. So there's there's the property. Uh, Eric is asking $330 down with a $395 document fee and $299 a month for 33 months. So it's 299 bucks a month for 33 months. You got to pay some up front, six, seven hundred and twenty-five dollars if I can do math up front, and then 299 dollars a month. Um, so yeah, they've got they've got a bunch more information on their website, and you just got to call her, call her, talk to her, go for it. Um, there's some more links. Here's her picture, picture, phone number, contact information. Feel free to call Erica and ask more about the property. So this one's on the website. I saw this one going by. I wanted to present it to you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith of RuralVacantLand.com bringing you some more easy, cheap land.